Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic Course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net June 2019 and we are doing this problem 71 of your paper. So it's a problem of linear algebra from part C. So let us have a look. Let L of R to the power N be the space of R, li of R linear maps from Rn to Rn. All right. If kernel of T denotes the null space of T, then which of the following are true? All right. So what we are given with L of Rn, L of Rn actually represent the space of all linear maps from Rn to Rn. Are you getting my point? So now let us try to see these options. So in the option one, it is telling us that there exist T belonging to L of R5. All right, so this T is non-zero transformation such that the range of T is equal to kernel of T. So this is this is what problem is uh, problem is telling us that there will exist T from uh, in this space such that the range of T and kernel of T will be same for this one. Now what I will be using here, I will be using rank nullity theorem. All right, so let me. Uh, just uh, state rank nullity theorem for you and then we will solve this option. All right, so see, this is rank nullity theorem. What it is state is this, if V is a finite dimensional vector space and T is a transformation from V to U, all right, then what will happen? This represents rank of T, all right? So rank of T plus nullity of T will be dimension of U. What is rank of T? It is actually the dimension of range space of T. All right. So if you don't know, I will just mention rank of T is dimension of range of T. All right. Range space. And what is nullity of T? It is dimension of null space of T. All right. Please keep, keep this in mind. Now let us try to see it here. Now your problem one or, or we can say the option one is telling us that there will exist T. All right. Suppose it exists. Assume that, assume there exists T, all right, from R5 to R5 for which a range of T, range of T and R of T are actually same, all right, that I am representing and kernel that is null space is same. Then according to the rank nullity theorem, what will happen because see, because range space and kernel, or we can say null space. So range space and null space of this transformation T are exactly equal. So we can say that their dimension will also be equal because they are, they are equal spaces. Now, because dimension are equal. So according to the rank nullity theorem, what will happen is this, that it should be dimension of U. What is u in your case? Sorry, v. What is v in your case? It is r5. Are you getting my point? I am doing this part by using rank nullity theorem. So now these two quantities are equal. This will imply rank of t. See, just replace nullity of t by rank of t. So please put this over here. What you will get is this. Rank of t is 5 by 2. So do you think that uh, rank rank or V6, we can say dimension is a non-integer number, all right, positive. So uh, uh, rank or, or we can say dimension of a space is always a, if we have a finite dimensional vector space, then its dimension is always a natural number or we can say whole number, all right, zero is also included in that set. So because this number is not a natural number, therefore we are getting a contradiction over here. So contradiction to what? To the assumption part. That means there will not exist any T from R5 to R5 for which range of T and kernel of T will be equal. Got it? Now let us try to see option two. Second option tells us that there does not exist T in belonging to L of R5 minus zero such that their range and kernel are same. So this is what we have proved from here. All right. So that is why second should be your correct option. Let us mark second as correct. Now we will talk about the third option. Now see in the third option, what question is saying there exists a transformation 
belonging to L of R6 minus 0 such that their range and kernel are equal. Alright, so I am doing third option now. So, see if we will apply rank nullity theorem on the third option, alright, rank nullity theorem on a third option then what will happen, uh, what will happen is this, because they have, they are equal, so what will happen, rank of t we will get to be 3. It means that this time we are not getting any contradiction. So from here we cannot conclude, uh, we cannot conclude that whether transformation will exist or, uh, or it will not exist. So, but what we can conclude from here is this that if it will exist then rank of t or you can say the dimension of the range space of t should be 3 for that one. Got it? So now let us try to think over this issue that whether there will exist or not. So what I am doing, I am find, trying to find out a transformation from R6 to R6 for which range and kernel are actually same. So see what how element of R6 looks like. It looks like this x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6. All right. Now what you want is this what you want is range of t should be kernel of t all right so what i will do i will map this element to this element focus over here you will get, understand what i am doing all right now see uh, now see if you will place this element uh, this If you will find out the image of this element, you will see that you will get what? You will get zero. Are you getting my point? So what will be your uh, what will be your uh, null space? Null space from here we can say that null space from here is all x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6 such that uh, x1 is equal to zero, x2 is equal to zero, and x3 is equal to zero. Are you getting my point or not? So try to find out the null space for this one. Try to equate this. If you want to find out a null space, try to equate this transformation t to zero element. Zero means zero in R6. So how a zero in R6 looks like? It looks like this. All right. So from here, what you will get that x1, x2 and x3 should be zero. So null space of t is given by this. Now let us try to find out range space for this one. So see the image of image of x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6 is what? It is 0, 0, 0, x1, x2, x3. So this is a general element for the range. All right. This element will, pre will be present in the range. So how will I write my range of t? My range of t will be x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6 such that uh, your x1 should be 0, not x1, sorry. Yeah, yeah alright, x1 should be 0 and x2 should be 0 and x3 should be 0. So see, this will be your range of space that the first three tuples should be 0 these three should be 0 then this will element this element will enter inside range try to understand this thing by the definition of range space of t and null space of t now see they both are equal where what are x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 they belongs to rational uh, they belongs to real number now initial 3 are 0 here also and initial 3 are 0 here also that means range of space of t for this transformation is exactly equal to null space of t Try to prove it mathematically. I am showing you just a basic hint. All right. I'm not doing it mathematically. Try to think over it why it is equal. So we are getting a transformation. All right. For which range space and null space are exactly equal. That means and it is also non-zero transformation. That means third one is true for this problem. Got it? So let me write that part third is true 
Fourth one says there does not exist t belongs to L of R six minus zero such that range of t is equal to kernel of t is incorrect because we are getting that kind of transformation for which range and kernel are equal. All right. So the basic hint was from here that range of t should be rank of t should be three. So see if you will try to find out the dimension of range space over here, you will get it to be three. So this is how we can solve this problem. If you have any issue regarding this problem, you can always ask in the comment section. If you have any other problem regarding uh, different from this one, you can join our WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Links are given in the description part of the video. All right. So thank you.